Let's take a look at the lesson, Match Analog and Digital Clocks. Here it says, look at the clock and select the choice that matches below. I see that it says 4.30. We read the hour first, then the minutes. So the hour is four and the minutes are 30. I know that the shorthand means hour and that the long hand means minute. So I'm going to first look for the clock that has the shorthand pointing to the four because the four is my hour. So here the shorthand is pointing to the two so I know that is not it. Here the shorthand is pointing between the four and the five so it is still in the hour of four so that's a possibility. Here, it is pointing directly at the four, so we know it is four o'clock. And here, it is pointing between the two and the three, so we know it is somewhere in the two hour. All right, so this is not it either. I also am aware that when our long hand, our minute hand points right at the 12, then we say o'clock, and that is zero minutes. So this is four o'clock. So this is not the right time, but it's close. Here I can see that the minute hand is pointing to the six. So let's count by five since each of these numbers is a multiple of five. Let's count five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So it is pointing at 30. So now I know we are still in the hour of four because it has not touched the five yet. So all of this space between the four and right before the five is four o'clock. As soon as it hits five, it is five o'clock. But as we can see, it is not to the five yet, so it is still four. And the minute is 30. So this is the correct clock. Next, it would like us to look at the clock and select the choice that matches below. So now they are giving us a clock and we need to read what it says. So if we remember, the shorthand is our hour hand and the hour is what we write first. What is the hour hand pointing to? Yes, it's pointing right at the 11. All right, and now I see that the minute hand is pointing directly at the 12, and I know that that is when we have zero minutes, and we say o'clock. So 11 o'clock. Great, do you see that down below? Yes, me too, it's right here. Let's choose that option. All right, now I recognize the 12, and the zero zero means o'clock. So I know that it's 12 o'clock. So the hour hand needs to be pointing at the 12. And the minute hand also needs to be pointing at the 12 because I remember that zero zero means o'clock. So that says 12 o'clock. So let's look. Well, I can already tell that this isn't the right hour because it is between the three and the four. So that must be three and then it's pointing at the six, which is 30. So this time is 3.30. All right, that is not the correct option. Oh, this minute hand is pointing at the 12, so this is something o'clock. Let's see, what is the hour hand pointing at? Ah, six, so this one is six o'clock. Not the right option. Let's check this one. The hour hand is between the nine and the 10, so I know it is still in the hour of nine. And I can see that the minute hand is pointing to the six. So we count by fives, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So it is nine, 30. Nope. Here we have, ah, the hour hand pointing at the 12 and the minute hand pointing at the 12. So I know that is the hour, 12, and the minutes are zero, zero, which is o'clock, so 12 o'clock. Ah, it is the same. Okay, that's the correct option. Now our next one is 1230. I can see here that our hour is 12. So our hour hand will still need to be in the hour of 12. 
Here we have 30. So our minute hand will need to be pointing at the 30 minutes. Remember, each of these numbers are increments of five minutes. So we can count by fives, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So we know that 30 minutes is when the minute hand points at the six. I've noticed that in all of these options, the minute hand is pointing at the six. So we do not need to worry about the minutes for this one. Let's look at the hour. I can see in this one, that the hour hand is still in the hour of one because it has not reached two yet. All right, so that is the hour of one and it is at 30 minutes, so 1.30. Here I can see that it is still in the hour of two. It has not gotten to the three yet, so it is 2.30 because the minute hand is pointing at the six, which means 30. Here. What hour are we still in? Yes, four. So it's 4.30. Great. What about here? What hour are we still in? Yes, 12. So it is 12.30. So that is the correct option. Next, we're shown the time, five o'clock. So let's look at that number. I see that our hour is five and that our minutes are zero, zero, which means o'clock. So I know that our hour hand should be pointing at the five and our minute hand should be pointing at the 12 because the 12 means o'clock. So here we have the hour hand pointing at the five, ah, and the minute hand pointing at the 12. So that is five o'clock, but let's check the others to make sure. This one, the hour hand is pointing at the two and the minute hand is pointing at the 12, so that is two o'clock. Here we have the minute hand pointing at the 12 and the hour hand pointing at the nine, so that is nine o'clock. And here the hour hand is between the five and the six, so it's still in the hour of five, but the minute hand is pointing at the six, which shows me that is 30, so five thirty. So here is the correct option. Next we have eight o'clock. So I know that the hour hand needs to be pointing at the eight and the minute hand needs to be pointing at the 12. So my hour hand is the shorter hand. Let's find the one that is pointing at the eight. This is between numbers, so I know that is 30 minutes. This is right on a number, but it's right on 10. So I know this is 10 o'clock. Here, this is between eight and nine, so I know it is eight. And the minutes are 30. Here, our hour hand is pointing right at the eight, and our minute hand is pointing right at the 12, which shows me it's o'clock. So this is the correct option. Next, we have one o'clock. So my hour hand will be pointing at the one and my minute hand will be pointing at the 12 because the 12 means o'clock. All right, let's look. Hour hand is pointing at the one, minute hand is pointing at the 12. This looks like it. Let's check the others. This one, I know the hour is in six, so that is not it. This, the hour is right at 12, so that is not it. And this, the hour is between five and six, so that is not it. So it is our first option. Next, we have nine o'clock. All right, so let's look at which one has the hour hand pointing at the nine. Not this one, not this one, not this one, but this one. Great, so that is nine o'clock. Next, I see we have three o'clock. So again, let's look for the hour hand pointing at the three. This is pointing between the 10 and 11, so I know that this is in the hour of 10. Here, the hour hand is pointing right at the 10, so I know it is 10 o'clock. Here, the hour hand is pointing at the 12, and so is the minute hand, so I know that is 12 o'clock. Here, the hour hand is pointing at the three, and the minute hand is pointing at the 12, so I know it is three o'clock which is the time I was looking for. 
The last one is seven o'clock. All right, let's look for the hour hand that is pointing at the seven. Here it is pointing at the five. Here it is pointing at the four. Here it is pointing almost to the seven, but nope, it's still in the hour of six because it's not quite to the seven yet. And here it is pointing to the seven, seven o'clock. Yep. Great job, my friends.